Hello everyone, uh, this is Cloud Chief here, and I'm here showing you the Wii U. Uh, this system's actually really cool, and the interface is really nice. I like it. I also like how they have the community set up. It seems like Nintendo took uh, what they were trying to do with the Wii and just expanded on it, and I think this is essentially the evolved version that they wanted it to turn out to be. Um, everything's just the functionality is just very simple and very straightforward it was very simple to set up and hook up my equipment and change everything around uh it was very simple to copy uh Mies over we actually copied Mies from a ds3 or 3ds and that was really easy to do. All the on-screen instructions to tell you exactly what to do. It was very straightforward. Um, I really like it. And the nice thing is you can switch from what's being displayed, at least in the menu screen here. It obviously won't be that way for every game. But you can swap from the menu screen to, like, the Miiverse, which is what I did here. And you can interact with other people and you can see what people have drawn and it's just very nice and done very well like I can just go in and find what each individual person has set up their little picture and their little I don't think that's an avatar but I guess that's what they're currently doing like these people are all involved with uh, Batman And it's just really nice. The functionality on it is great, especially with the two analog sticks. Plus, it picks up your movement, as I'll show you shortly. Plus, with the triggers, it's there's just so much you can do with it. I really like uh, with the stylus, too, how the touchscreen works. It just gives a lot of functionality. Um, but let me... go ahead and pull up Nintendo Land. I can start showing you some of this functionality. Nintendo Land was definitely a great game to learn what the Wii U is capable of. I definitely think developers should play around with all the games in the Wii U to get a good idea of the functionality of the Wii U with the touchscreen and the interface. And it needs to calibrate. So, one second. The calibration is really easy. You just need to sit it down on a flat surface. And as you can see here, the screen goes as where I tilt it. And then I just use the analog sticks to change the screen. And the nice thing is every uh, different Mies will come in and interact, at least with this game, and see what you've done. Oh, I got some prizes here. Let me... It's a balloonfish. It's from one of the games. Let's see if there's any more prizes to be had. There's another one. Hey, you're in my way. Let's actually do some uh, gameplay. This is actually one of my favorite mini games right here. It actually uses the stylus. And it's a very fun game and it definitely utilizes the technology of the Wii well. Essentially for this game you need to draw where you want Yoshi to go. But on the actual screen is where you can see where there's the obstacles and the fruit you need to get. And you need to draw it on the screen where you don't see it and he obviously has to get it. pretty fun game and I like how they have it set up. 
it definitely, this game would definitely help with your drawing skills if you wanted to learn how to draw. Nom nom nom. Success! I have a decent score already. Now in this part where the flags are, you have to get the fruit in order. This one's fun. You actually have to make a star symbol with this. As you'll see. And actually, I messed that up. Star. Let's just hope I get that last piece of fruit on my way. Yay! kind of like a triangle to go out towards and you can actually get all the fruit and prizes. You'll see. I'm not leaving anything to chance. I've left things to chance before, but... I'm gonna make sure I have this on you. Nom nom nom. Hooray! Oh, this one is a timing one. Actually. Oh, I. Oh, wow. I missed the prize, but <laughs> that one's tough because you gotta wait a while if I let it swing around. I'm glad I did that one fast. Okay, so I remember you. difficult because you have to eat them in order and considering how they're moving. Alright, here we go. Oh, and I want up. I think I have this one.
This is my best run yet. Oh, that's right, the bees. Now they have bees and moving fruit in here. One up! Yay! So even if I somehow die, I should win. I think I eat the B too. Oh, but I missed. Wow. This one seems pretty difficult. Nice. That one was definitely hard to try and maneuver. Whoa. Um. Okay. All right. Oh, I think I might have missed some fruit. No, actually, I should have it all. Nope. Hmm. I see what they're trying to do here. I should probably use my reference points. I don't use them. I think I have like three at this point. So these little checks. This is by far the farthest I've ever gotten. Wow, they're not making this one easy. How are you supposed to do that? Alright, well, I definitely was playing that for a long time. I'll have to show another game. New personal best and a gold trophy! And I got a fair amount of coins. 40 coins! But we'll show the what the coins do later. <laughs> 